Hi. <laughs> How is everyone? Um, hmm. I am here. <laughs> it is July 5th. July. Wow. I'm traveling through time, guys. No, it is January 5th. Um, and that's exciting. My cat's going to come up here, isn't she? She's going to come up on the table, on the desk. When she could just stay where she is, that would be great. She's on the floor, and now she's going to jump from the floor to the desk. And yes. <laughs> Lola, I don't like you very much. She said, that's a lie. <laughs> I mean, it is, but also not. <laughs> anyway. Um, so. Um, I will talk briefly about the video that I posted most recently, which is uh, my taking accountability video. Um, I wanted to post that... Um, I just, I don't want to like talk too much about it because my brain is very bad. And so like <laughs> when I don't have uh, something to go off of, um, I just start rambling and it, when it, it is something important like that, I don't really want to just ramble. Um, and so Lola... <laughs> I can't. Stop it. Just get down. Okay. And um, stay there. So anyway, I I just I don't want to talk about it too much, but it does look like the video is doing well. Um, you know, it I, I I didn't post it to like get engagement or anything like that, but I, I did want to make sure that like people weren't like even more angry. <laughs> um you know, for me posting it. Um, if that was the case, then I would have to, you know, review my <laughs> my whole video and, and everything else and just to see, like, okay, should I have even done that and all this stuff. But, I mean, I talked to uh, various people before I posted it and showed the video to people before I posted it and um, I wanted to make sure that everything sounded right. Um, not just like sounded right, but was right. <laughs> I wanted to make sure everything was right and it was, you know, uh, not, I don't know. <laughs> See, my brain doesn't work, but anyway. So, um, I just wanted to make sure it was as, um, as genuine as it possibly could be, um, and also not be like pre preachy or you know like some something else you know like i just i wanted it to be perfect in whatever way that could be and it's obviously not perfect because i had to like go in and <laughs> um insert some things as well to be like and this is why i did this because i literally i make fun of myself constantly for messing up words um just by like making faces and stuff and i felt weird about that to be like, oh, I'm not trying to like make light of the situation. I'm literally just getting down on myself about making a mistake and oh, just anyway. Um, yeah, so I am glad that the video didn't seem to make people angry. So that's good. Um, um, and, and that's pretty much all I will say about it. I wanted to like really um, go for it on my channel. I wanted to, every year this happens in, in the beginning of the year, I'm always like, I really want to work on my channel. Like I want to actually try and like do this stuff. Literally happens every single January. Um, but I do think I have a good like set plan set up for me this year. Um, I have a schedule set that I think I can follow. I've already started following it and um, it has been pretty easy to follow and I haven't gotten, I mean it's only been like three, four days, but it hasn't gotten old yet. <laughs> and I've actually 
got gotten like ahead of schedule technically, but I I don't want to like um I don't want to veer away from my schedule because I feel like if I do I'll just fail because um I need a schedule like I need to be that not to be told what to do because I'm telling myself what to do but I need a plan to follow. Um, because if I don't, then I just think, okay, well, there's, I could do this, I could do that, I could do this, and I can't choose what I am actually going to do. So, um, my schedule actually was to, on, uh, the, f every two weeks, um, I post a scripted video and, but every week I do post a new video. So every other week I post a scripted video and on the opposite weeks I post a podcast video like this. So the first week of me, um, you know, the first week of everything is me writing a video um, because I know it takes a while to write videos usually uh, for me anyways. <laughs> um, and so I was like, okay, I work eight to five every day, my regular job. After I'm done working, I have dinner. And then um, after dinner, I start writing my video. So I eat dinner from 5.15 to 6.15. And then from 6.30 to 9.30, I write my video. <clears throat> um, and then after that uh, period of time, at 9.30, I eat a snack. And then at 10 p.m., I go for a walk from... Uh, 10 to 11 and when I say go for a walk I mean walk from inside a <laughs> walk from right here all the way to my kitchen like the end of my kitchen and then walk back and forth and back and forth that's where I'm walking <laughs> um for an hour and then I uh after that uh you know shower <laughs> and then go to bed you know uh and then so that's what I have right now um and then uh that's like monday tuesday wednesday i would write the video thursday i would also write it if i needed to if not i just have oh I, no okay monday tuesday wednesday i write a video um and then on thursday i record my podcast edit the podcast which doesn't take me very long um and so that is what I'll do. And then on f for Friday, which Friday is when my podcast, you know, Friday at 2 p.m. is when I will post my videos every week. So Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. And this week it would be the podcast because it doesn't take me very long to edit. So the first week I write an entire video and then on Thursday I record a podcast, edit it, and I post it for Friday um, and then the next Monday, um, I start, I record my video and then I start editing it. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I edit the video for Friday to be posted. Um, and that's the scripted video. And so every other week, you know, that's what I'm doing. Like those are my two in, in two week blocks. That is what I'm doing. Um, and so that makes it so that I would be posting a video every week which, you know, in an ideal world, right? <laughs> like, um, it could end up being that I don't do that or I miss a couple of weeks or I'm, you know, here and there or whatever. And I, I'm just, I'm not, I'm trying not to get down on myself about things like I, if I miss something or whatever. Um, I mean, so far it hasn't been a full week, so I haven't had to like get down on myself about things. And actually on Monday, I, I wrote the entire video that I wanted to make. So I, I actually didn't do anything yesterday. I mean, I did walk, but I didn't have to <clears throat> um, make a video or anything. And today's Wednesday. So really, realistically, I should be recording this on Thursday um, because it needs to be posted on Friday. But since I have time, I might as well just do it today. Like, I was just like, whatever, I'll do it now. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, um, I'm kind of just playing it by ear at the moment for this week because I think I was just, I, I was very ready for the first week because I already had an idea that I, um, for a video, which I have a list of ideas for videos and I keep adding to it like every day. I keep thinking of something else, which is great. <laughs> um, but 
I had an idea and I also researched it already. So like I had the links and everything. I had the outline that I what of what I wanted the video to be. So I pretty much just had to write the words, like the script that I wanted it wanted to say, you know, like the words I wanted to say. So I was done that first day. <laughs> Um, which I know is not going to be the case every time because it's just, it's just not, it was never the case before and it's not going to be the case. So, um, yeah, I, I'm ready for that to not be the case. She's so cute. Look at her. Anyway. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of worried about that just because I know that like, okay, this week was so easy. Um, I do this, this video that's coming up for next Friday, um, is going to be, um, about the, um, it's actually really different from like anything I've ever done, but it's not like that far out for, of, from what I talk about and stuff. So it's basically about the Viacom and Wattpad Mer merger it's not a merger it's a partnership um and i don't want to talk too much about it because the video is going to speak for itself but um it's it's just about that partnership because when i had first heard about it i was like oh, what is going on here and i was actually really worried that it was going to be bad um and so i kind of uh, i did research about it <laughs> And then I, um, I wrote the video for it. So, um, that video will go up next Friday. So, the 14th of Fe February, <laughs> of January, the January 14th, um, January 7th is the day that you'll be watching this video that I'm recording now, uh, which is my podcast. So, every other week you get a podcast, which is so great. <laughs> I'm sure you're so excited. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I, um, ever since my friend Melody said that I am good at podcasting or I'm a natural at podcasting, I can't remember what she said. I've been like, oh, I'm good at this, but like, I'm not. <laughs> she has to say that she's my friend. Um, I don't know. And then she said I had a soothing voice the other day. I was like, who? Who are we talking about? Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, but I am happy about this year. I'm excited about it. Um, I'm not excited about COVID, obviously. Everything bad is happening again um, with COVID. I, I did get a little bit more anxiety again sur surrounding it, which isn't great. But I also think I'm just so tired that my anxiety is like, eh. <laughs> like it's given up. Um, not that I've given up on like COVID protocols and like safety and stuff like that. I've obviously not done that. But um, basically like, I mean, my mom is going to Florida in like 10 days, hopefully. I don't know. My brother said he might not be able to take her because of the playoffs, so I don't know. Anyway, um, but hopefully she leaves. I mean, she's gonna leave at some point this month. Um, and then whenever she goes, then she'll come back. No, that she won't come back till May, but I have to bring her back in May. Um, and hopefully by then COVID will be better because I'm going to have to fly down there and I'm not interested in that. I think I have to get a passport. That's not good. I don't know. I, I think there was like something. I don't know. I have to look at my ID. Um, it, it was, there was something like you had to change. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, but I definitely don't want to fly to Florida <laughs> at all. I almost want to like rent a car and drive down there. But that would be awful, too, because I'm not spending money on that. But um, but I would also rather do that than fly on a plane. Um, never mind. <laughs> I literally just had a thought. I was like, I'm going to have a new car. And I was like, no, but I need my car to come back with me the whole point. <laughs> my mom, I have to drive my mom back up. 
Um, but yeah, I am getting a new car, hopefully, hopefully, um, in April or May. I want to try in April and then I might have to like order it. Um, so hopefully I get it. I want to try like in the beginning of April so that like maybe I'll get it by the end of April if I have to order it or something, but I don't know. We'll see. Hey, Lola, could you not? <sighs> She's like scratching me. She was scratching the chair and then she decided to continue to go up and then find my my leg and then decided to scratch me. So that was cool. But anyway, thankfully I'm wearing like thick pants. <laughs> but um anyway. So um regardless of that, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to um that whole thing. But hopefully, like I mean I wouldn't want to get on a plane right now, right? But hopefully by May, <laughs> the end of May, actually, it's like almost June when I'm going to be doing it. So hopefully by then things will get better again. Um, and I am, I mean, I'm boosted, like I've triple vaxxed, but, and by that point I'll probably be quadruple vaxxed. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. I don't know. Cause they changed it to like five months, right? So if... If they want us to keep getting them, uh, getting boosters, which I believe that they do want that, um, then I would end up being quadruple vexed by then, um, which is fine with me. Like, I will gladly get freaking COVID boosters for the rest of my life. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I really don't. I am not, I'm not afraid of, uh, shots. I'm just not. And I'm not afraid of especially afraid of shots that are going to freaking save my life so like i don't care um which are all shots <laughs> i don't i mean i guess uh, maybe like drug shots but um i don't do that so <laughs> um but i do love uh i don't know i i love modern medicine <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I am less, like, worried about getting sick myself. I mean, I am not healthy, like, for sure. I am not. Um, but I have three vaxes in my body, and I'm hoping that if I got sick, I wouldn't die. So that would be great. I w not even just dying, though. Like, that's the thing. I don't want to go to a hospital. I don't want to be, like, freaking... Uh, what's that called? When they put the tube down your throat. Vent ventilated or whatever. Um, I don't want to be on a vent. I don't want to... I don't want to be sick for the rest of my life. Quite obviously, I don't think anyone does. So, like, I, I just don't want that. <laughs> you know? Um, so, I, I don't want anything. I don't even want the freaking stupid side effect where, like, you have to... You, everything you eat tastes like sewage. I would hate that. That would be the worst thing. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing, but it would be very bad. Um, I don't think I would be able to deal with that because I am a, f I have a phobia of throwing up. So if everything I ate tasted like sewage, I would feel nauseous constantly when I was eating. And I just can't imagine that. Like, on the one hand, I wouldn't feel the need to eat, like things that are bad for me, I guess, but I would also not want to eat things that are good for me, like I currently already don't. So, like, <laughs> it's just, I, I feel so bad for the people that have that symptom. I mean, I feel bad for anyone who has COVID, except the people who are unvaccinated purposely. Um, <laughs> I, they don't feel bad for them, sorry. Um, the, the ones that like not the ones that couldn't get the vaccine for whatever reason it's the ones that didn't want to get the vaccine um that i don't have i have no sympathy for you um and i am angry <laughs> with you because you're the ones who are keeping this going so anyway um i have no i have no remorse to uh feeling you know like I don't know, whatever, I just, I don't, I can't care about that. Um, but then, like, at my, my, most of my anxiety stems from, like, 
my for my mom you know i'm like okay she's going to florida which is like the worst place to be during covid and she was there last year too um so you know she didn't get it um and that was before vaccines um and she did get she, i think she got her vaccine while she was there um the first one she got the first vaccine while she was there and then she got her second actually i think she got both you know first and second in florida then when she came back she got her booster i mean not right away but um she got it uh, like a couple weeks after i got mine and um because she got her shot a couple weeks after i got mine yeah she got both of the the first two in florida then um and then uh but so she's triple boosted triple boosted she's triple vaxxed as well so that's good and she promised me she would be wearing a mask everywhere she went um but i'm just like like it it worries me but then i th i have to go it's not my life like obviously she is part of my life and she's a very important part of my life but i can't control what she does and um I can't control other people and what they do. Um, I can only just say, okay, if she gets sick, that is going to be very upsetting for me, right? But it will, if it happens, it's going to happen. And I can't stop that. So there's nothing I can do, <laughs> um, which is very hard for me to admit. Like, it's very hard for me to <sighs> come to grips with is that I, there's something I can't control like i know that that's literally like the basis of it, basis of at least my anxiety is like lack of control in a situation um i've told this story like a lot recently for some reason but when i was in pennsylvania with my family i went to hershey with uh my mom and my brother and his kids and so we were in a hotel room together and i was on a uh, bed with my mom and my brother and his kids were on a separate bed and my mom was snoring next to me and I couldn't sleep one because she was snoring and two because I felt anxious like I, I didn't know really why and I, I couldn't figure it out really I wasn't until like later that I kind of realized why I was so anxious but I, I just couldn't sleep and I was getting like angry um, from hearing my mom snoring like I was getting like irrationally angry because I was anxious and I didn't realize that like those two things didn't correlate in my mind <laughs> at the time but I was like I need to leave like I I need to go and so I like left the hotel room I walked outside of the hotel like out like the perimeter of the, the hotel I walked around the, the hotel at like I don't know it was probably like 11 p.m midnight or something like that which wasn't really safe <laughs> But it wasn't like in a like bad area or something. Um, but it was just like I, I felt trapped. Like I couldn't. I wasn't driving the car. You know, like my brother was driving the car. I wasn't in an area. I was in an area that I had no idea where I was. You know, like I couldn't just go somewhere. Like it made me really realize that like I like wherever I go after here, it's going to be hard to adjust to because I take for granted so much that I know where everything is in my city and like I can just get in my car and just go somewhere or I can get in my car and drive without a destination but still get home very easily and I know it's a lot easier to do now a days than you know maybe not maybe not like and not it wasn't even that hard at the time where I was like stuck in Pennsylvania um, but that wasn't the problem in Pennsylvania. Um, it's very easy to get around places now, especially if you have a car and a, a phone. Like, you should be having a car and a phone, you have a GPS and you have a car. Like, it's very easy to get around. So, that's not really, like, what I mean. It's just, like, a, the comfort of knowing where you are. Like, I remember when I was, like, growing up and the one of the first times I like drove in Buffalo, New York, which is very close to where I live. Um, but it's not exactly where I live. So I, I had drift 
God, I don't know. I don't know. I had, this was before like GPS and stuff like that. I think it, we, I had a GPS, but not like on your phone. Like I was probably 17 because that's when I got my license. So, um, and so that would be 2007. <laughs> um, or 2008. Um, and it was, I remember I called my dad crying because I had no idea where I was. And like, I know exactly where I was now in my head and I know exactly how to get home from there. Like, I know all of that. Like, it's, I, it's crazy to me that like, I mean, I was 17, so obviously, and I just, a new driver, I obviously had no idea where I was. But I was so scared. I was like, oh my god, I'm never gonna get home. Like, I'm lost forever. I'm gonna die. Like, this is anxiety, obviously, before I even knew I had anxiety. But, um, my dad was like, calm down. <laughs> He's like, I was like right next to the highway, too. Like, I could easily get on the highway and go home, and I knew exactly where, how to get home. But it was like, I didn't know. I, I got off the wrong exit or something like that, which, isn't that bad like getting off of the wrong exit in a city like is not that bad it's like basically like a couple minutes out of the way <laughs> like <laughs> um when you think about like what you know what exits are like if you're on like the throughway you know like the freaking interstate throughway it's it's probably worse <laughs> because you don't have an egg like an there's an exit every like maybe like five minutes, 10 minutes. So it like, it's more time out of like, and, and there might not be like connecting, like easily connecting roads and stuff like that. Like, so that's going to take more time, but you'd also still get to the place where you're going. So like, I, for the most part, you're not going to get lost forever, but that's not what anxiety tells you. So anyway, um, <laughs> But yeah, so I was in Pennsylvania. I walked, I left out, uh, left, walked on, walked around the thing. Then when I came back, I was like, oh, I can put headphones on <laughs> and go to sleep. So I did. I put headphones on, put some music on, and I went to sleep that way um, so that I could fall asleep. But that was like, it was really bad. Like, I was so, it was like, I almost had a panic attack. Like, I almost had, or an anxiety attack, whatever. Whatever is less in, 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 intense because <laughs> it wasn't to that point um so um yeah I I almost did um and it was like I couldn't I just felt trapped like I felt like I I can't do anything like I'm stuck here I uh, and it's not like I didn't like my family or anything like I just felt like oh I'm not at home it was almost like homesickness in a way but like what was I missing? You know, I was missing comfort, comfortability, comfortability, whatever. Um, and familiarity. And that's, that's how I know that it's going to be an issue when I like move somewhere else, because it's like, okay, I'm not going to be familiar with the area or anything like that. And that brings me a lot of anxiety. So, but it's something I want to do anyway. So it doesn't matter. I will have to conquer that. <laughs> I don't want to live here forever, um, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. Um, me moving really hinges on the fact uh, on whether I get a job doing it, it on whether or not I could make this my career, you know, YouTube, basically, that's really what it hinges on. So if I never am able to do that, um, I'm never going to leave <laughs> because I will never make enough money to do that. I'll never ever make enough money to leave. And then also the job that I have, yeah, I'm, I don't, I make more than minimum wage, well over minimum wage. And I still do not have enough money to live by myself, right? In an apartment. I live in an apartment by myself above my mom and I do pay her rent actually just this year this month I started to pay her rent so that's great for me <laughs> but even like so knowing that that I'm paying rent which I'm paying her rent way less than I would be paying anyone else rent um 
knowing that though, knowing that I'm paying her rent and that, you know, these, you know, however many years that I have been living here without paying rent after I was 18, right? Um, so 12, right? 13 years. Um, I haven't paid rent. Um, and that's, you know, and I haven't saved money, like, because I can't. Like, I mean, obviously part of it is because I didn't, right? Like, I've bought so many things for my YouTube thing that I never actually committed to. Um, and I've spent money on a, a lot of things that maybe I did not need. That's for sure part of it. <laughs> but it's not all of it. Like, I just have a lot of, like, I have student debt forever and ever and ever. Um, and so, and just in general, I was not making enough to save money. <laughs> like, that's just it. I was not making enough to save money. Now I am making enough to save money, but not a lot of money. Um, and definitely not an, a lot of, or, I, like, I would be able to save money, right? Like, say I end up saving, you know, a good amount of money. One, I'm going to be buying a car this year, so all that money is going to be gone. Um, <laughs> but two, if I ended up saving money, I still could not afford to live in an apartment by myself. So no matter how much I save, my monthly income is not enough to pay for an apartment by myself. I mean, it, in my city, yes, in the city that I live in currently, which is not great, not a great place to be. Um, it is enough technically, but I also don't think I would be able to. I don't know. It's just, I just don't think I would. Um, I, I don't know. It's, it's barely enough, right? And that's just for rent. That's the thing. Like, <laughs> it just makes me so mad. Like, what, what am I spending money on? I don't understand what I'm, I'm, ugh, it just makes me so angry. So anyway, because it costs money to live. Because not only do you have to pay bills, but you have to buy food <laughs> and gas. That's why I want a hybrid car, so I don't have to buy as much gas. Um, that's not the only reason, though. I want a hybrid car for multiple reasons. But, um, I don't know. Basically, I want to, I would love to move. Um, but if I ever were to move, it would only be because I've made a living for myself through the internet. <laughs> um, because the only thing that I can do now is work at the place that I'm working at or a place like the place that I'm working at in the same industry. Um, and while I probably could find that a job that in a different city where I'm doing the same thing, um, I don't know. It's weird because like the pl the place I work, and I don't want to get into it, but we do have places <clears throat> in the city that I would like to live. But I don't think we have a position in which the the position that I have right now in that city. You know what I mean? Like I'm working from home, so realistically, I could work anywhere. And yet I can't because like, what if I needed to go somewhere? <laughs> like I needed to go to the office for some reason because every once in a while, I guess we do have to go every, every once in a while. But like, so is there, is there a position like the one that I have in that city? Probably not because I think the, my position, because of the position that I'm working right now, I work, I, I do things for the, that city. Like the city I want to go to. So vague, but like I get things from them sometimes. So what that means is that the hub of my department is in New York. So <laughs> like I can't just work wherever I want, I don't think. Um, that would be great though. It would be so great if I could just like I mean, I still would, I would not be able to afford it right now for sure. Um, and I don't think I'd be able to afford it later. So who knows? <laughs> um, that's the thing, right? 
Um, anyway. So that's part of the reason why I am, I want to go really hard at my YouTube channel, but it's not the main reason. Um, and if it was the main reason, I don't think it would work. <laughs> um, the main reason is I really want to. Like, I, I genuinely have so many ideas and, like, just this, like, really weird motivation to f make it, to make that stuff that I want to make and just not care about what other, what people, like, whether people will watch it or not. Like, I just don't care. Like, <laughs> you can watch it, and I'll be happy if you watch it. Like, I'm, I, I guess it's not, or not. Um, I don't care if people don't watch it, is the thing, right? Like, if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. That's fine. But, um, I guess I'm just kind of reinvigorated in this idea that's, like, just post what you want to post. Um, and if people want to watch it, they want to, they'll watch it. <laughs> like, that's fine. And, and I do know that being consistent is also very important to growing on YouTube. So that's mainly the reason why I want to post every week. But um, I'm also, once again, not holding myself to it in the sense that it's like, okay, if you don't do this every week, you are a failure. It's more like, <clears throat> if you don't do this every week, it's okay. <laughs> but do it when you can do it like you you have the time like I think the main thing is like and I know that this is like there's there's part of this idea that is very toxic and like the whole like you have to be productive and blah 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 like first of all that it, the grind culture and like you know like all that stuff is bad and you shouldn't feel like you're worthless if you aren't being productive you should not feel that way do i feel that way for sure <laughs> because i live in a society like everyone else but um but uh it's not the like it's not my motivating force right like my motivating force is like i actually really want to <laughs> make these videos like i really want to <laughs> i'm really excited about it and um i know that you know, there are going to be times when I'm not excited about it, but I still want to post, um, something, you know, like whether it is just a video of me talking about how I don't want to post, um, or, you know, I don't have any ideas or blah, blah, blah. Like I remember like in the very beginning of my YouTube channel, not in the beginning of my YouTube channel, but when I, I don't even know what the beginning of my YouTube channel is. I mean, I do, realistically, I can see the date when I started it, but I have started so many times. Like, I have tried so many times, multiple times um, over the years since, pretty much since, right, I feel like since right after my dad passed away. So, I think it was 2013, um, and I think, I think it was the that year i wonder i can check let me see um it smells like popcorn did my mom make popcorn <laughs> i love popcorn i eat popcorn like every day um youtube she's still streaming <laughs> i'm talking about valkyrie sorry um, I was watching her stream earlier and then I stopped to record this video. Um, my channel. Let's see. No, no, no. Happy to stop. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just watching my own videos. Anyway. Um, actually not my channel. So YouTube studio is what I want. Hold on. My nose itches. Okay. What is going on? I have gained two subscribers. I mean, like, I just was not expecting to gain any subscribers after that video that I posted. Um, I, thank you. I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, I have to pee. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I was looking at my channel. Let's see. Okay. Um, 
yes. It, the, I had a video called Father's Day. This is the first, well, the first video on my channel is called Intro. And it's not up, like, it's private. Um, but it was June 15th, 2013. So that's when I created this channel was in 2013. So that was after my dad passed away. Um, I had a video called Father's Day and Welcome, which, uh, right after, one after another. And then a video called Cats. All three of those are <laughs> private. Um, just because they're really old and I'm not proud of them anymore. Like, not, I don't think there's anything in them that's bad. I'm just like, eh. <laughs> they were from an era on my channel. Like, most YouTubers have, like, old videos that they privated, whatever. Anyway, um, so... I have that. Um, but yeah, those are the oldest videos on my channel. Um, June 15th. Uh, so it was Father's Day in 2013. <sighs> what was I going to say about that? I don't even remember. Basically, yeah, that was the first time I tried, right? Then, let's see here, actually. Let's go keep going. So, and I, I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine videos in 2013. Um, and that was pretty much the first time I tried making videos by myself, right? Um, uh, and, you know, on my own channel and all this stuff. And then in 2015, February 8th, 2015, I made a video called Promises. That one is still available on my channel. You can watch it. Um, and that one is... It is... Um, very interesting to watch and I'm actually I might watch that video for a video like as a reaction video um, because I remember I know there's like basically the premise of the video is that I made a promise that I would try to do YouTube that I would try to be healthier um, for and I made this promise not only to myself but to my father who passed away so um, I wanted to do that, right? So I made that video in 2015, February 8th, 2015. I didn't post again until December, no, actually April of 2017. I have a video in December of 2016, but it's not a video that I posted. It's like, um, it's a recording of like a play that I, my, fr my class made or whatever, and that I had to like upload anyway um so it's not public <laughs> that but then i have a video called balance in nature which was also for school in 2017 so that wasn't even really me trying anything on my channel that was just me like i have to make this video for school and so i'm just gonna post it on my youtube channel so i have the link to i don't know anyway whatever then May of 2018, I posted a trailer on my channel for my short film that I made in school. And in uh, November of 2018, I posted the full uh, short film. Then February of 2019 is when I really, this is what I would say is the era, new era, newest era of my YouTube channel. So in 2018, 19 February 2019 I tell you I'm telling you I do this every year <laughs> where I get really excited in the beginning of the year and I'm like I'm gonna make all these videos but this it took me until February 16th to make but anyway um but yeah so February 2019 I posted this video and that was like the start of my like me trying so so far it's been three years almost where I've tried to make this work, but even in 2019, I made one, two, three, four, five. Wait, no, four, five. Five, I made five videos in 2019. And one of them was like f for my mom. Like it was a birthday video for my mom that I did put, spend a lot of time on, but it wasn't like a, a YouTube video for my channel. Then, again, in January of 2020, <laughs> I got really excited to make videos. And that in 2020, I did post 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 videos in 2020. 
so i posted almost uh, one uh, one a month but not it was like sometimes i posted multiple in a month like once once i posted like three times in a month and then i wouldn't post for like two months <laughs> um then in 2021 i posted one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so in 2021 i posted 14 videos it's going up guys but see that's what i'm saying like so since 2019 i've posted somewhat consistently right but it's taken me three years almost to get to a point where i'm like okay i think i know what i'm doing <laughs> you know what I mean? I still don't know what I'm doing, but I know more of what I'm doing. And I've uh, developed a system in which it is so much easier for me to edit videos, um, to record videos and edit videos. Thank God for OBS. I, I don't, I, d I don't know. I hated editing videos because, um, and, and there, there isn't, there is, um, drawbacks to this, but I have this camera right here. It's a very nice camera. It's gonna turn on, no, wait, is it? Anyway, it's a very nice camera. Um, it costs $2,000. <laughs> it's a very nice camera. At the time, it cost $2,000. Now it's like a thousand. Actually, it's more like 800. But anyway. Um, I'm thinking about selling the camera, to be honest, but, um, because I don't use it. I, I never use it. <laughs> the camera I'm using right now is a webcam. It's freaking, you know, it's 1080p, but it's not like, this is 4k. Like my, my camera is 4k. It records in 4k. So, and I would record in 4k for my YouTube videos. <laughs> um, but so now I'm using a camera that is much less you know good in quality but is so much easier to use in terms of like the file size is smaller every time i would edit a video my computer would crash consistently because i'm trying to edit 4k video on most of the time i mean before i got this pc um, it was a PC that was just not equipped to handle 4K, you know, editing in 4K. So it would, my Premiere would crash, my computer itself would crash, like it would just be like a nightmare. So of course I didn't like editing <laughs> when oh, me editing consisted of me having to like restart my computer every five minutes. So, you know, obviously I'm not going to like that experience. Um... But yeah, I, I have a very nice computer. Thankfully, I got it fixed so that it doesn't crash anymore. Um, this is a different computer completely from when I was editing the those videos and it was crashing. But it was this computer was crashing when I got it. Um, when I would stream and play a video game or when I would record and play a video game, it was not having it. It was just immediately crash. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like connected to the ethernet, like with an ethernet cable. <laughs> connected to the internet with an ethernet cable and I am doing like everything correctly but it's just so bad anyway I mean eventually I do want to upgrade to a first of all I would not be able to stream with this camera anyways I do want to upgrade to a DSLR that would be allow me to stream I know you need a capture card regardless but this camera does not allow for like continuous usage it you it will shut off every 30 minutes and so it is a piece of garbage <laughs> um but i also don't stream um i know i made a video saying that i was gonna stream every tuesday but one that's definitely not gonna happen now maybe eventually i i think that streaming is better either whether you just like streaming right which i i don't love it um i'm not used to it yet obviously because i only streamed like three four times um, I love watching streams. Like it's literally my favorite thing to do, but, um, I'm not a streamer. <laughs> um, and I think that it's, it's not good. I mean, I've watched many people say this, um, that if you want to like grow as a streamer, it's 
better to have a following somewhere else first and then stream. So if I really wanted to stream, which I'm not sure I even want to do that, but if I do, then it's better for me to just start, you know, working on my YouTube channel first and then, you know, I can stream if I want to um, at that point, if I grow. <laughs> If I grow, who knows? Um, I know I talk, I don't know, I feel like I talk about this way too much and it kind of feels like, at this, like, on one end it feels like, oh, you really are just doing it for the money or blah, 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 like, I don't know, it makes me feel, when I talk about things like this, it makes me feel like that's maybe the vibe I'm giving off, but it is not, like, at all why I want to do this, like, I actually have wanted I mean, I've said this many times, I've wanted to be a YouTuber, basically, since I knew you could be a YouTuber. Um, so, I, and I grew up with the OG YouTubers, like, watching them and stuff like that, and, um, so, like, I've always wanted to do that. I mean, those old videos that I despise now, um, that I made with my friends, are kind of an example of that. Like in 2010, I was making videos um, and like vlogs um, and posting them to YouTube. And you know, whether it was to get famous or not, like I don't want to get famous. I just want to have a successful job um, on YouTube. And that's pretty much how I feel. <laughs> um, and I, I made a video, a, I think in, I think that was my January video of 2020 of me saying, I'm tired of feeling ish ashamed that that's what I want to do with my life. Like, and I always, I really did always feel so stupid about it, right? Like, I felt like, you know, I, oh, you want to make videos on the internet for a living? Like, uh, what? I don't know. It just, it felt... I felt ashamed talking about, like, that's what I want to do. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, but really, what do you want to do? You know what I mean? Because I guess, like, of course, there's always pressure to get get a real job. Blah, blah, blah. Like, first of all, I have a real job. <laughs> I have a real job. Um, not that YouTube isn't a real job, because it is. But I technically currently have a 9 to 5, which is actually an 8 to 5. Um, so I have that and I still want to do this. Like I still want <clears throat> something else. And I think I made a video last year where I was talking about how I feel like I, I wish I didn't, like I wish that I didn't want more for myself because I wish that I could just be happy with my nine to five job. Not that most people are right like and i'm not i'm not different from other people like i obviously most people don't like working um quite quite obviously i i especially right now <laughs> i don't blame anyone for hating their jobs right now um but just knowing that i this is what i want and and i the only thing that is really stopping me from doing it is my own self <laughs> Um, is frustrating so I, and I'm just tired of getting in my own way like I'm just tired of it so um I'm back to this place where I was where I'm like okay I'm going to actually try this um whether it goes anywhere or not you know who cares it's just putting out stuff that I want to put out and um, and I do want to do it every week. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Obviously, I, I want something to come of this. Like, I don't think... I mean, other than the very, 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 very beginning YouTubers, um, they're the only ones, really, that put videos on YouTube without the intention of it being their job one day, right? Like... I guess that's not true, but for the most part, like people who are putting videos on YouTube right now, especially on a consistent basis, they want that to be their job, whether it is their job or not. Um, and I don't think that makes them like bad. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I'm sure some people like, I mean, there's like clip channels, right? Like they, I mean, not the ones that edit it, edit things and make it cool and fun and 
quirky and you know like fun to watch and stuff like that but clip channels that literally just like copy and paste <laughs> you know like save like full huge clips of a stream or whatever and post it on youtube and they're like this is mine now they make money off of other people's content and it's like i mean they're shameless <laughs> so when i can make my own uh, original content i would think i should not be sh ashamed of, to do so and so um especially and i shouldn't be ashamed to want that to become successful in some way right like it's not that i want to be famous i absolutely actually don't want to be famous i want it to be like you know just a, i don't know i just want this to be my job but i don't want to be famous i don't i definitely don't want that um, I don't need the scrutiny. <laughs> I don't need the attention on me. I, I am a Leo, so I obviously want some attention, but I don't want, I don't need, I mean, it, with a platform comes responsibility, right? And I, I think I, with my last video specifically, I did make it clear that I can take responsibility for my own actions, my own words if I, you know, do something incorrect or offensive in some way. Um, so I, I do think I can handle responsibility, but I also don't want to be like a role model. You know what I mean? Um, so <laughs> I mean, I could be by representation. That'll be cool. But, um, <laughs> other than that, I don't know. Um, also fat representation. <laughs> Um, but anyway, all right, it is about an hour, it is over an hour, but I am going to go now. Um, so make sure you subscribe to the channel because I will be posting a video every Friday at 2 p.m. And you better not miss out, you, you better not miss out on any videos. And, um, I will be, my next video, like I said, will be about the Wattpad, um, Viacom partnership. And then I do think after that, well, the week after that is going to be another podcast. And then the week after that, I believe, will be my Destiel Tropes, um, Romantic Tropes video. So look, at, <laughs> be excited. Um, I'm going to, oh, right before I leave, I'm going to give you a list of my ideas, my video ideas, and tell me which ones you want to see the most, okay? So um, my... Let's see. Oh, the first one I'm not quite sure about, but it says channels run by regular people that are just obvious branded content. So that one um, is just like, there's this weird like trend on YouTube, like shorts, where I've seen like people who are like, they just have regular names, but it's like they work at a Dairy Queen. And so they're like showing behind the scenes, like at a Dairy Queen. And I'm like, you are, this is obviously like, like a Dairy Queen ad in disguise. I don't know. Anyway, it, <laughs> but then the more I looked into it, it seemed actually more legit. So I'm just not sure about it to be quite honest, but so I don't know. I have the Vi Viacom Wattpad thing, which I am already done. Um, my romantic Dusty L trope series, which I'm not sure is a series or not yet, but there's so many of them that it probably will be. <laughs> I'm not going to put them all in one video, but I might also not make more than one video about it. I'm not sure. Um, fandom history series, which I did mention in one of my podcasts before, where it's like, basically, um, there's like one thing in my mind that I really want to talk about specifically within the supernatural fandom of like, <sighs> like, a moment within the, like, fandom that broke me as, like, a fan, a Death Sail shipper, <clears throat> um, and what that felt like, and, like, what led up to it, and what happened after, and I kind of want to, like, document that, um, and that, but that's, like, one of the, like, that is one situation, right? And I could talk about, like, so many different scenarios in just the Supernatural fandom. Um, but then there's also, like, I've been in other fandoms, so I could talk about that as well. Um, like, when it comes to, like, Glee, we can talk about Glee, right? Um, my friend Melody and I, um, we're, well, and Caitlin, we're all in the Glee fandom together. 
Um, and Melody wanted me to talk about Glee in that same way. And it's like, I definitely could. I just, I don't remember a lot of like stuff until I'm like confronted with it again. So I would probably have to like go back onto my like old blog and like look at like posts that I was making at certain times and be like, oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, let's see. Also, a, a, sp a spy movie review, which is a new uh, movie that was written by Steph Koenig, um, who is someone that I talked about in the Brian Jordan Alvarez video that I posted. Uh, Brian Jordan Alvarez is an actor and writer and producer and blah, 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 director um, that posts on YouTube um, his content and stuff like that. And he has basically his writing partner, his comedy partner um her nef her, ne her nef her name is steph koenig and she wrote a movie called a spy movie that just came out in december i believe um i haven't watched it yet because i want to make a review video for it and um i would have to like pay attention <laughs> uh which i don't usually do when i watch things so anyway um review old oh <laughs> these are two ideas um i can review old fanfic of mine um, and I can re review old, like, fan videos of mine. Um, so that was, those were two ideas, two separate videos. Um, and then I have an, uh, unpopular supernatural opinions video, which I could then, like, those would be my unpopular supernatural opinions. And then I could open up to discussion in the comments and be like, what are your unpopular supernatural opinions? And then, um, I can make another video about your unpopular supernatural opinions that I would maybe comment on or, you know, whatever. Um, I also have an idea to just record myself playing Valorant, which I love so much. So, um, <laughs> so those are all my videos right now, video ideas right now, but I am sure that I, it, the list will grow and grow, um, as I go on. And that's another good thing about like being consistent on YouTube is, um, people, you know, comments on your videos and stuff and then with those like comments you get ideas right like um yeah like i made the comment that i wanted to do a fandom history like series or whatever about supernatural and then melody was like what about the glee fandom and i was like oh that could be something else too so it's like you just keep getting ideas <laughs> um which is great i remember like i was saying before i interrupted myself i think earlier in my like back in the day when I decided I wanted to start like really so in 2000 <clears throat> uh what was it 19 when I really started um I was like I don't know what I'm doing like I have no ideas I have zero ideas but I will try and now I have a lot of ideas like I just have so many and um and that makes me so happy because like that was for so long like the main reason I wasn't making videos was because I had no idea what to make a video about um and I think it really helps to open up to the idea of talking about fandom and um not being ashamed of that aspect of my life which I'm not even like I am still in fandom and stuff like that um but I don't really participate in it very much anymore um and so even though i'm not like that you know heavily participating in fandom and stuff anymore i still keep tabs on like certain things and blah blah blah. and then also like i was still in fandom for a good portion of my life like and so i have that you know i have that stuff to talk about and who do i talk about it with you know other fandom people but um, that's who I want to watch my videos, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, and anyone can watch them, but, you know, like, I remember, this, this is going so long, but I just wanted to say, like, I was talking about this with a friend of mine who isn't really well-versed in fandom and stuff like that, and I remember, like, I wanted to make a video where I was, like, explaining fandom, right? Because I felt like if I talk about fandom and my experiences in fandom and I don't explain it then no one is going to watch my videos because no one's going to understand what I'm talking about but that's just not true because so many people are in fandom and understand when I say like AO3 and like all this stuff like I literally had 
actually, I think I did post a video about, or I think I did use this line in a video um, where I said something like, you don't understand when I say something like, um, I'm going to go read a Destiel, um, Destiel Hurt Comfort 100K fic and go to sleep or something like, you know what I mean? I don't remember what the line was, but like, if I say that like to someone, they're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Um, but most, or not most people, most people do not know what I'm talking about, but there are many people who do. And, um, while I don't want to like limit myself to just people in fandom, um, I do think obviously that people in fandom are a great audience to have. And, um, I love, would love to surround myself with people who are in fandom because I've been in fandom for so long. So I understand. Um. And I also think, um, I just understand fandom so well, um, overall, <laughs> like, because I've been in it for so long. It's like, not just the fandoms that I've been in, but just because fandoms mostly operate the same way, like almost all of them. Like, obviously there are there are t fandoms that are more toxic than others, but it's usually because they're just bigger. So, like, I mean, you talk about, like, Minecraft YouTube stands, like, uh, people think of them as very toxic and very, like, and BTS fans, stuff like that. People think of them as, like, these very, like, toxic people. And they can be. <laughs> like, of course they can be. So can Supernatural fans. Like, so can uh, Glee fans. They definitely were. Um, like, so can, you know, I don't know, I can't think of, welcome to Night Vale fans, not usually, but <laughs> they're kind of like the cool ones, but anyway, like, they're just, there's fans of everything in general, and, um, and, and there are always toxic fans, right, but the bigger the fandom is, the more toxic it is, because there's more people in it, <laughs> like, that's just kind of how it works. Um, so, you know, it's, it comes, it comes with the good and the bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I would like a community on YouTube in which we are all chill. <laughs> We're all kind of chill people. We don't <laughs> like go after people and, you know, um, scream at them for everything in the world and also like tell them to kill themselves or anything like that would be great if we could just not have that <laughs> i'm not saying i will ever garner like a huge following or even more than what i have currently um but if you know the people that are following me now could just not do that and also the people that follow me in the future if you do uh yeah don't do that so <laughs> anyway um that is about it for today i'm going to go i'm going to eat some popcorn and then I'm going to probably play some Valorant. <laughs> um, alrighty. See you later, guys. Bye!